Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery doing another quick review on a little bit of a hodgepodge of different knives that I've worked on. Um, we've got a, a Wii Knife Company um, that, uh, as you know, they anodize their own, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't quite flashy enough. Um, tends to come with a matte finish and then whatever color they do. We buffed it up and went crazy on it. I'll show you that in a minute. We've got a little DPX, uh, I believe it's a Heist or Hest. Um, I'll go over that one. Did a little bit of work there. Oh, what was I thinking putting that side forward? There you go. There's the money side on that one. Uh, Kaiser Cuchiara Design, it's the Hustler. And uh, a, another one of the Spiderco Mambas that uh, I've done a lot of different work on. We'll go ahead and hit that as well. And a really cool Lion Steel that's uh, got uh, Chad Nichols Damascus in it. So we'll kind of go through these one by one and uh, see what you guys think. So the Wii Knives, definitely nice quality. Good craftsmanship, fit and finish is real nice on them. Centers up really good. Um, like I said before, comes in a matte finish typically. Um, I buffed this sucker up like crazy. Gave her a gold yellow background and as you can see we went with a uh, rainbow fade uh, for the coloring. So we kind of go with a light purple and a darker purple and a blue almost into a greenish blue. Um, these have some pretty neat little screws on them. They're star shaped and they come with the tool you need to take it apart. So we left it purple there. We uh, went ahead and matched the pivot to uh, the drizzle. Also match the pivot and screw to the drizzle here, the lock bar insert there, and then went back to the purple again up there. Um, like I said, fit and finish on these is really nice. I did go ahead and do the same thing with the pocket clip. We're kind of a little bit bright here, a little shiny. But we went light purple into dark purple into blue, matching it. Same with uh, the back end, lighter, darker, up into the blue. Um, action on these things is really nice. Nice and smooth. Good solid lockup. We're right about 45%. Um, really very happy with the knife. I don't know how many of these I'll be doing, uh, just because they do anodize theirs to start with. I'm definitely going above and beyond on it. I just don't know that the price point is going to be quite high enough to make it worth doing many of these because it was quite a bit of work getting it all buffed out and that type of thing. So we'll see. This one will be a kind of wait and see what kind of price I can get out of it if it's worth doing many more of these. But as far as an overall knife, very happy with the fit and finish. Um, good quality. Uh, getting close to the Riotti, I'd say it's not quite. I mean, it is it is a good quality knife. Um, the Riotti's just got a tad bit more of a finished feel. But they do have some nice little, uh, little add-ons. I mean, they've got the notches out, the lines in the back spacer. I kind of like that uh, lanyard. Uh, holder there so you can get the lanyard in there it's nice and cut out has the lines I mean it is it is a very well made nice quality knife so very happy with that one um, it does run on a bearing system as well uh, the DPX this is the first DPX I've ever had um, again price point not sure how many of these I'll do, uh, but it's a neat little knife. This is a tank of a little knife. Look at how thick that blade is. And then they slim down the handles. Lockup's pretty good on it. You do not have a steel insert on this one, so it's titanium on steel. 
um, and it does have a bushing in it versus a bearing system. Looks like they got a little uh, glass breaker back here. Not the biggest knife in the world for a glass breaker. I believe that's a bottle cap opener. It's a neat little knife. Good fill up the hand. Nice small blade. California would be perfect. Um, cool looking fade to it. I'm pretty happy with the knife overall. Um, quality seems to be pretty good. Uh, so there's all their markings. But pretty cool little knife. Just no bearings. Got a bushing system versus bearings. But uh, it is kind of neat. The uh, pocket clip does sit on the lock bar. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, when you go to unlock it, you do have to give it a little push over. Probably not going to be the best for ladies. Um, but a man has no problem getting that going. Um, you might be able to get that flipping after a while. But uh, right now it really is a thumb all the way around. So pretty cool little knife. Um, this next one I was really happy with. This is a cool design. Um, it is a lion steel. This one came in a bronze. I buffed it out. So the edges are high buffed. You still have some shadowing in the center with all the points buffed nicely. Um, again, all the way around. This is one solid piece of titanium. It is a cool design. I really, really am impressed with the craftsmanship on this. Um, Spyderco has got one out uh, that is very similar. This has got a nice action to it. Opens and closes really smoothly. It is on a bushing system again. Um, you have a steel pocket clip. Um, with a little uh, little uh, glass breaker back there. So um, not really a knife I'd be breaking glass with. Um, the Chad Nichols Damascus on this thing is phenomenal. It is beautiful Damascus. Has a real nice edge on it. Great pattern. Really good little knife. Lockup's probably about 20%. Um, it doesn't sit quite perfectly center, but uh, it's probably just how it's designed. But, I mean, there's no rubbing. Action is super smooth. Really high quality knife. I really dig that one piece titanium design. Um, now that I've done this one, I might consider getting that Spyderco. It is a little bit more pricey than this. Not that this one's a slouch with that uh, Chad Nichols Damascus. You're driving the price up. Nice slimline uh, knife though. Very good. Rides well in the pocket. I buffed out that clip a little. It was a little rougher. Now it's nice and smooth. Um, edges show a little shine. Smooth in the center. Kind of goes along with the edges buffed or the high points polished high and then a little bit of shade in that green. Um, so real happy with that one good quality. Um, we've got another one of the Kaiser uh, Cucciara designs. This is the Hustler. So what I did was I sanded it and a cool pattern came out in the handle itself um, from the machining. So the machining, sorry I got some fingerprints on it. It's a, My hands are a little bit moist because of what's going on. It's a little warm here. Um, but it has some machining to it that came out when I sanded it. I really like the look, so I just left it. Um, did a light sand, you got some shinier parts, kind of a nice uh, overall uh, look to it. You do have the steel lock bar insert, so Kaiser is stepping it up there, um, adding that insert. I went with a green background. Um, the skull color is actually the original color of the knife, so I left that there. And then instead of going a bronze, originally I was going to go a bronze, but with all the hardware being silver, I figured I'd leave the, uh, the carving of the skull uh, in a nice silver. So it really turned out good. Left the pocket clip the color of the overall knife. Um, ceramic bearings on these things, super smooth. I mean, they open so nice. 
And now that they've got the steel lock bar insert in them, um, I, I think it's going to be around for a long time. It's really good quality. You cannot beat it for the price. Um, really good quality. And again, you've got your Cuchillar right there on the top of the blade. Just a bad looking little knife. It will have a lanyard on it pretty soon, so we'll get that all taken care of. Um, this one, of course, is the Mamba by Spydrico. Now what I've done is we've got a blue liner going into purple, going into a gold, and on this end you get a little bit of blue here and a little bit of yellow gold here. That steel piece that holds your lanyard didn't want to come out. So it threw the voltage a little bit, but man, that is a sharp looking knife. Um, in real life, it's actually quite a bit better. Let me adjust this light, see if we can get it to uh, show up a little bit better for you. Um, it's a little darker in person, really has a lot of life to it. So this is a nice kind of a greeny going into a gold nice purple up into a blue and you got a higher blue up top I did go ahead and heat anodize the steel hardware as well as the pocket clip just to give it a lot more life it's got a nice bronze look to it and man these things are like they're on glass they uh, slide open real nice um, there's been some question I don't know if it's got a steel insert in it. It doesn't have an insert that would come off, but when you've got this knife apart, it appears that there's a steel insert built into the titanium liner. So I'll have to do a little more research on that to find out if that actually is a steel on steel lockup or titanium on steel. Um, this is one of the Taiwan made Spydricos. It seems like all the big money ones they're sending out to Taiwan to have them made now. Um, but overall quality on this thing is just phenomenal. I was really on the fence of keeping this. I won't do many of these just because they are... Looks pretty straightforward to work on. There's a lot to getting this one apart and back together. Um, and making sure it's all just right. This one's perfect. Very happy with it. Um, but like I said, I probably won't do too many more of these um, just because the markup is not quite high enough for the amount of time that goes into working on this. But it is one phenomenal knife. It is a cool design. It fits in the hand so nicely. That pocket clip disappears right into your hand. And it is a big, bad knife. I like that two-tone blade. Got a nice satin finish with the black. It comes from the factory pretty darn sharp. Kind of interesting that they're not sharpening the back end. But man, the rest of that blade for a factory edge is pretty nice. Well, thank you again for uh, tuning in. Um, all of these will be up for sale on the website come in, uh, come in here for Thanksgiving and the holiday season. Um, so you'll see them over the next couple days being posted with pictures and all. I also have another 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 20, uh, another 22 zero tolerance knives that will be posting here as well. So I have been anodizing like crazy, got some really cool looking designs. So keep an eye out and uh, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.